Oh, man. On the way to drop off orders at the post office. On my running around today for my publications book stuff. It's real pretty out here. The sun is really, really beaming. It's still cold. It's 37, but it's still, uh, it's nice out. Man, um, uh, feels so good and filled up this morning, man. We had it. I don't know, folks, is in the clubhouse. If you have the opportunity, please go in there. Uh, the rooms in there, uh, can be very, very uplifting, very motivating. Uh, fun. I should have brought my damn arm thing. What arm thing for? The thing for, uh, hold this camera. I thought about that. Well, we gotta go past the joint mm -hmm. in order to get to the next stop. Okay. So I could swing by. Yeah. So what was you saying? Going with your program. I'm a, a going with your program. I mean, I mean, I was just saying, man, I was just filled up, man. We just had the legends of Urban Street Lit in there last night. I got cut off. My aunt was calling me. But I was saying in the clubhouse last night in a room you hosted, uh, we had the Urban uh, Street Lit. Uh, veterans and uh, not so veterans, Lola Bands, one of the new newer uh, authors out here in the game. Really talented young lady. Yeah, um, and yourself, Miss T Styles, Quan, Wahida Clark, Daniel Santiago, uh, Zane came in. Um, uh, we had Diane in there, Allison. Oh my goodness, who am I forgetting? Um, this post office job packed yeah. after the holiday. I don't know what that's about. No, but um, we gotta we gotta drop those planners. Yeah. Like, who they at those page papers? book planner? Those are the, a bunch of orders that came in. T style. Um, it's a page by page book planner, so you can know what to write on each page of your book. We yep. had a lot of orders lately, so. Yeah. If you if you need if you would like to write a book, and you pretty much think you could do it on your own, you just need a little guidance. T Styles has created a page by page book plan and she tells you exactly what to write on each page of your book. And then when you're done, you can put it into a word processor and you will have a full novel. Right okay. Get my, uh, I'm You got the mask up out here, ladies and gentlemen. Now I put the Jimmy on extra tight. There you go. You ain't gonna even turn around and say hi? She's elevated because you're a different woman. Right. So I know we got the camera on right now. Oh, I yeah. think you should keep all this in. This is oh, your no. little program. I mean, you know, this is what we do. If it's supposed to be behind the scenes, this is what we do. We talk about stuff. We analyze stuff. We, we have the conversation. Right. You know, get all that. But you, but what you going, what you doing now? We're ready to uh, pull up on the UPS store to oh. return our um, stuff that didn't work out. I I'll tell them what we're returning. You got so, our, uh, I got, we got onesies for Christmas. Love onesies. We love onesies. We absolutely love onesies. Soft onesies with a hood. I need, hood, I need a hood, hood on my onesies. onesies. I need stinky onesies. On onesies. <laughs> I need onesies. <laughs> I need all that. And um, you got me a onesie and yourself a onesie for Christmas. And uh, for me, <laughs> I mean, I'm built like a baby linebacker, but. Um, nah. but I had bus through the job. <laughs> no, that material was whatever. So, I spent right, forty five dollars, so forty something so. dollars for them onesies. They should not be doing any of that. Not yeah. for forty something dollars. I mean, because we've got onesies way cheaper. Right. I mean, if y'all don't fit, it just you know, I just start coming through like Incredible Hulk. So yeah, so they gotta go back because that happened the day 
the first day. Yeah, you can't even sit on the couch before your onesie act up. All right. Fuck that. Yeah, I mean, we got ones we've had for years and they had no problems. They don't got no problems with them. So. All right. All right, so those are going back. And then you had got me my bowls because I like to cook. Every now and then, well, I cook. I do cook. But I like to cook. Um, and, you know, I like, I had the little glass pinch bowls and stuff. Yeah, so, they don't broke, man. And they came broke. They came chipped two out of four little bowls. But what were you going to use them for? My, my sauces and my spices, um, my when I chop my veggies, you know, just so I can display it, so I can start doing my videos, so I can show my recipes and how I cook, what I cook. So, you know, I just like the appearance of it to, to be nice. Or even when I do my mukbang in football, I can put my sauces in. Pete said it's muk, muk, Oh, muk, muk. Muk, 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 yeah, I, gotta, I gotta say, I gotta find a correct. She told us that we we weren't saying it right. Right, it's mukbang. Uh, I think that's it. So when I do my mukbang in football, um, and I have sauces for whatever I'm eating, you know, I want to have a nice little display. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you were sweet enough and kind enough to go ahead and and, and get them for me. You just order them for me with your sweet self. And then them Jones came two out of the four. Of them babies came chipped. Now what am I gonna do with them? Nothing. So they on their way back. That's why we here. We at the UPS store. So yeah, look. I know it's annoying. I know it's annoying to my, my spouse, but I cannot drive with a shoe on. So every time before I get out, I've got to put my shoe on. It is on. annoying, but the, I take but the boot, but the boot fat is thick as shit, so I can kind of understand it too. Yes, yeah, it's, it's hard to maneuver for me, but that's any shoe. Oh, that jump. Right, I use my thing. It's, oh no, that's your camera. Yeah. Oh, all right. Bye. Bye. to drop off some supplies to CC. Uh, weekly supplies, you need water, and uh, what I got in there, lotion I think, waters, lotion, um, I can't remember what else, but whatever she needed, you know, soap I think, something like that, whatever she needed, she was out for for the week. Um, this is what I do every week, sometimes twice a week, because she don't know, always remember what she need. But I'm trying to get it down to once, once a week supply, so I'm not, you know, running back and forth up here. But this is one of my trips. She's only about 10 minutes from me, from us. So we had her moved closer uh, two years ago. She was over an hour away. Don't you tell them what happened with her, baby. Okay, right. So, um... In 2015, at the age of 35, uh, she had a brain aneurysm. She had been experiencing headaches um, prior to, but they were just headaches, you know. She had a highly stressful job working uh, for the pools, uh, managing pools of all the pools in the city of Washington, D.C., indoor and outdoor pools, um, which was extremely stressful because she was always on call, even when she was off she had her phone the emails that she was answering even when we were on trips vacations to uh puerto rico and out the country she was dealing with emails and phone calls so um it was a highly stressful job she also was uh, trying to nurture her passion which was uh being a director and uh, a videographer videographer um, so she was doing that on the side, but she would get home from work. Um, and she also spent a lot of time going out with her then girlfriend and hanging out with friends. So she was always on the go. So she had headaches. Uh, she would take a BC powder, which is, you know, that's our go to. Shit, we all did. Yeah. We all took that mask back. I tried everybody on them. Should I just put something in, our, in, in your purse, you know, just to have them? Because yeah. we keep them on us. But she was popping them, like, religiously. Uh, crazily like so all of this happened to her on, uh, on April 15 2015 when she had to go to the hospital but I had just had dinner with her that Sunday yeah. I don't know what day that was but it was three days before um, like the 12th of April and she met me out uh Rundle Mills well, you guys can talk. she felt the need to want to meet you out she like, did. We, she did. We, we do we y'all do like your um impromptu on meetings yeah. but it was like she was like, now nah, I'm trying. I'm hungry. Come on, come on, hang out. And I was like, I right, bet. So we 
we got up, she met me, and we went to, I can't even remember what was that, Longhorn Steakhouse or something crazy. We met up, man, we had been planning to go to Jamaica, was it Jamaica, that, that August or whatever. Oh, yeah, well. Um, for her then girlfriend's birthday, she was going to be turning 30, and she was telling me information about that. We had put our deposit down, we were getting, getting in, she was telling me about that, and plans of her proposing to her then girlfriend, then, um, showed me the car she wanted to buy, you know, she was going to get a new car and everything. We just had a great catch-up conversation. We talked all the time. We don't miss a beat, you know, Cece and I were more, or are more best friends than, you know, just siblings. Um. But we had a real big catch-up session that Sunday, just me and her. Anyway, fast forward to April 15th, that Wednesday or Tuesday, whenever it was, um, she experienced, she woke up and had a headache like no other. She said it was the worst headache she ever experienced in her life to the point where she said something is wrong and her and her, her girlfriend, um, went to the hospital. She drove though. She drove herself to the hospital because her girlfriend was going through some ailments of her own. I don't know if she had upset stomach. I can't remember what her, her yeah. issue was, but she was sick as well. Now they weren't sure because they had gone out the night before. So they weren't sure if it wasn't food poisoning or because they had been drinking or what. So both of them had to go to the emergency room. All right, y'all, I'm here at her facility. So I'll be back with the rest of that. Gotta get out and get her stuff. Oh my shit. Like we're doing a documentary out this bitch. Yeah, that's what it feel like it's going to end up being, right? Yeah. I mean, but here's the thing, which is, there are no mistakes. We said that we wanted to do it. I yeah. got all the footage from when she went through all that. I got some too. You may need to do that, baby. Hey, I think you're right. Hey, why I wore your shield? Why you, yeah, why you wearing my shield? I didn't mean to, fool. Nigga. It was right here. I just your own motherfucking shield. First motherfucking shield I saw. <laughs> hey baby, don't do that. You ain't wearing spray. Man should not wear another man's shield. Where the spray at? Cause I ain't sprayed. I don't think. I'm gonna spray this stuff in here real quick. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 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 Yeah, that's what I'm I just want to be extra careful. Although she done already had COVID. But, yeah, but, they, but niggas got it again. Charge people for this. Okay, yeah, I'll pay you anything you want. What you want? You gonna have to. What you want? You gotta tell me. Uh, you ain't tell me how much though. I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna tell you. I'll pay you. Uh, Hello. What's up, boo? Hello. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up, baby? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, <laughs> I just dropped your supplies off. Oh, all right, all right. All right, so it's your water. You. You're welcome. It's your water, your lotion, and your soap. Okay, all right. All right, so let me, yeah. let me know if you need anything else, but I think you good until next week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Cece. Hey, Cece. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, Cece. Hey, Cece. Hey, sign you wild. I ain't get to call you last night, baby. Huh? I ain't get to call you last night, but I I, I was happy that uh, I knew you was back because I saw you was on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I knew you was back in that, John. Did you get to eat? You got grilled cheese. I ain't like it, though. Well, I'm glad you just had something <laughs> on your stomach. I know you was hungry. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. 
All right, babe. So call me and let me know when your stuff get up there to you, okay? Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome, baby. I, I'm gonna uh, call you back a little later. Okay, thank you. All right, bye man. Bye. Love you. Love you too. Bye bye. bye. Get back. I'm definitely gonna slide out. Yeah. So, um, so that Wednesday, Cece drove herself to the emergency room to the Washington Hospital Center. And uh, when she got there after the test, it was determined that she had an aneurysm that had ruptured. Um, so her girlfriend, who was being treated in another part of the emergency room, uh, contacted me where I was sitting in a dealership getting the oil change. She contacted me to let me know because since both of them were being treated, she wanted to let somebody else know. Um, she wasn't sure what was going on with Cece. So I called my mother because my mother's in D.C. She lived 20 minutes from the hospital. I let her know what was going on and CC was in the emergency room and so was uh, her girlfriend. And then uh, she, and she could get there before me because I'm an hour over an hour away. So my mother went to the emergency room and was with CC up until her having emergency surgery. Um, by the time I got to the hospital, she was in surgery for them to repair her uh, ruptured aneurysm. Um, took a few hours even after I had gotten there. Uh, I told my, my spouse what was going on and then she was on her way uh, to the hospital as well. So then everything was fine, it was successful. By the time CC came out of surgery, uh, Toy had been there, as well as um, some other family members, cousins, aunts that was upstairs in the waiting room at ICU. They were taking her to the ICU to, you know, watch her. Um, and you even got a, what, smile out of her in the elevator? You remember yeah, that? Yeah, I did. I was so glad I was there to see her. Yeah, I, um, I, had, I was waiting on my mom because we had been sitting in that waiting room for so long. My mom had grabbed, went to grab something to eat and then they wheeled the seat out and told me she was going up to ICU. Can't remember what floor it was at the time, but um, so Toy had gotten there, so Toy rode up in the elevator with Cece, and I waited on my mom to come back, um, so I could tell her. Um, so she got a chance to see Cece. She was out of it, kind of, but she was smiling. She knew she knew who T was and everything. So uh, fast forward about an hour or so later, I go in to see her once she settled in her ICU room, and all of a sudden she says just like that. And I was like, what you say, son? What, what's that? And the nurse was like, okay, she's having a stroke. So they got me out of there and all of them came in to do what they do. I go back in the waiting room and I'm panicked. But she had a stroke, they had to take her back downstairs to the operating room. The 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 aneurysm surgery had happened. Um, they went in through her, is it the femoral artery thing? Yeah. And her thigh, which is crazy medicine doctors man they went in through her femoral artery in her thigh with some gadget and used the coil method is what it was called to clip the uh, ruptured aneurysm and repair it that way without having to cut into her head however with this stroke they had to go into her head um so that was her first uh brain surgery um they did what they had to do she was okay um, as far as we knew, but she was still under, uh, under. We didn't know how much damage had been done by the stroke until she kind of came out of it. Um, so the next few, they told us the next, what, 24 hours were extremely crucial. I'm going to put the pictures and the videos that I do have up here. When I say they had every machine, they told us this. Every machine connected to CC that they had in that hospital for you know brain trauma and stuff like that everything was connected to her and you'll see it, it was lit up in there um and she she survived however she had issues so she had brain swelling uh, i think two three days after her stroke they had to go in and they removed half of her skull um they cut half of her skull to allow her brain to go down so it needed space to where it was expanding because it was pushing against the skull they had to take the skull off so it can expand as, as much as it needed to and then go down so in order to keep her skull viable 
they put it inside of her stomach in the fatty part of her stomach I'm telling you uh, I meant to tell you this yesterday so, so we in the doctor's real quick just a segue we in the doctor's office and I'm explaining to Cece everything the doctor is telling me because uh, although Cece understands some stuff some of this stuff is above her so the doctor even asked do you understand what I'm saying she said no kinda so when I broke it down to her and I'm using my hands and showing her and all that the doctor ended up asking me am I in the medical field really I swear to god she said you um you know you you, you, you when, even even the last time we talked she said you kind of you, you sound like you know a lot about a, a lot of this stuff yeah you're in the medical field any and I said oh no I said I just I guess you know being thrust into this five years ago mm -hmm. <laughs> you pick up a lot you learn you know you picked up a lot you pick up a lot and you care so it's you know it's not I'm not coming in the room to get information that's going to be beneficial for this one meeting. I need Man. information that's going to be beneficial for the process because right. for true. you, your ultimate goal has always been to make sure CC walks again. Yes. You know, not to skip sides, but you never brought into her being a vegetable, which is what they. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to that. Get to that, but yeah. so that's just when she asked you in the medical field, you damn need damn well need to be as <laughs> much right. research and stuff you do. No bull. So I mean, it, it was a lot, but um. And, and I'm her, I don't know, if I, I don't think I mentioned it, I don't know if I mentioned it in the other video, but I am her legal guardian um, by the courts. I, I went and applied for it to make sure that I can make the decisions that need to be made for her, um, for her, you know, because she can't do it for herself. Um, and my mom, unfortunately, is not able to do it. So um, I, I did that with no problem in, in February of 2016. Um, so anyway, so she had to have the skull removed. It's now in her stomach. Uh, it was touch and go, and that surgery was like eight hours long. I remember it being so long. We were downstairs forever. The best part about it was uh, my cousin's mom, my aunt, uh, Marilyn, worked at the hospital at the time, at that hospital. So she was giving us all the, whatever she could find out, the doctors, they messed with her. They, you know, so they were telling her what's going on before we could find out, you know, because the nurses at them front desks and stuff, they don't be knowing when people in surgery. The doctors are in there. They can only give you, you know, what the doctors tell them. But she was able to get more information, which I'm so grateful for. So she kept us abreast of everything that was going on. So she came out of the surgery. Then she had problem with, um, uh, she had to get a drain put into her head to drain excess fluid. Okay. So she had this thing that looked like she was a robot connected her head. Wait till y'all see the pictures. Mm -hmm connected to her head draining fluid on the out from the outside from the inside out into these you know collectors um her temperature her stroke and all that messed up her body temperature so she kept running real hot and in order to make sure her heart was okay they had to put her under a cooling blanket so she had this raft like cooling blanket over top of her i mean it was wait till you see the pictures this will definitely be like a probably five. This is going to be like a five-part series on this You don't want to wait to the last minute and upload everything, right? And I know so, they want it, so. All right, we at uh, DSW right now. We getting ready to take my my wife's uh, boots back that she already got um, some. So we're gonna see if we can get something else. So I'll be back with the rest of the story. Y'all stay tuned.